What's good, YouTube? It's your boy, Blue Blood Sports TV, back at y'all with another one. So, people, there won't be a live stream today. Today's my mom's birthday. But, nonetheless, we still going to get this boxing talk in. So, it looks like they setting up another mega fight, right? And that mega fight looks like it could come in the form of Ryan Garcia versus Jerron Boutinis. As you look at my last video, I did a video and I stated that they put Ryan Garcia in position. Now he's top three welterweights in the world. Now, obviously, by default, since they ranked him three, now Terrence Crawford is leaving the division. That's going to make him top two. He has the status. He has the popularity. Now, obviously, there's an asterisk by his victory, which is the biggest victory of his career, against Devin and Dream Haney. Now, he batted Devin Haney, dropped him three times, batted him in that fight, but there's an asterisk by it. He wasn't professional, as I stated. He missed weight by 3.2 pounds and didn't even attempt to make weight. He was 15 pounds away from the 140 pound limit 11 hours before the fight and he tested positive for ashani a banned substance so with that said nonetheless the politics in the sport of boxing is going to overlook that right because this is boxing so they'll overlook that now the new york state boxing athletic commission is going to test his b sample um may 22nd we'll have the results and the answer as to what took place with the Ashanine and the B sample um, May 22nd, which is Monday, okay? They're gonna give us the, the information, the results. And then they'll hand down whatever punishment they they deem necessary to fit the crime, right? But this is boxing. They'll overlook it. And Ryan Garcia, the fact is, you can't erase what we saw in the ring. Although there's an asterisk, although he cheated two times over with the weight and then with the Ashani tested positive. But nonetheless, it'll get overlooked and he's a superstar. With his status beating Devin Haney, shockingly, he was the underdog and he had such a big social media presence. Now, a fight with him and Jerron Boots Ennis would be massive, especially seeing as though Jerron Boots Ennis just signed with Matchroom, Matchroom CEO and promoter Eddie Hearn and is now with the zone as well. And he's with, and he has the backing of his excellency, Prince Turkey al -Ashik. And Turkey al -Ashik wants to make the best fight the best. Jerron Ennis is fighting July 13th in his hometown of Philadelphia at the Philadelphia 76ers arena against a guy he's been trying to fight for quite some time in Cody Crowley, which is not an easy fight. Cody Crowley's a southpaw, he's slick, he's undefeated. And it's Jerron Boots and his first title defense. But with that said, this sets up a mega fight for Ryan Garcia and Jerron Boots and his. As far as popularity wise and namesake goes, Jerron Boots and his is on the verge of selling out and doing a million dollar gate um, based off of the numbers and already tickets sold, right? So Jerron Ennis versus the phenom as I refer to him as, with his skill set and his talent versus Ryan Garcia would be massive. This would be an opportunity as it was for Devin Haney and Javante Tank Davis to catapult because there's a, a stigma in the sport of boxing that you need to have Mexican versus black or Mexican fan base included to go to the next level as the Mexican fan base does stand up for the sport of boxing. But there's a false narrative that they're the only fan base that truly, truly supports the sport of boxing. That's a lie. And it's a false narrative that African-Americans don't support the sport of boxing. That's a lie as well, as we see this with Floyd Mayweather and many other African-American fight fighters, Roy Jones, Sugar Ray Leonard, and Pernell Whitaker. They were huge and they had the backing of their community and their culture. But nonetheless, when you incorporate two fan bases and you use the race bait to say this fan base, this Mexican versus black, of course it's gonna be 
big numbers because it's controversy, right? So when you incorporate Jerron Ennis versus Ryan Garcia, nobody's gonna care in the future that he cheated Devin Haney out of his victory until they rematch. They rematch, Devin Haney wins the rematch, then it'll be brought up. They rematch and Devin Haney lose the rematch and then people will say, see, we told you so. But they're gonna need to rematch. Nonetheless, matching the two makes for an enormous fight. Uh, and so he called out um, Jerron Boots Ennis and he stated that he wants to fight and beat Jerron Boots Ennis, right? That being Ryan Garcia, that's what he stated. Again, commercial wise, this is this will be great uh, publicity for Jerron Boots Ennis fighting and beating Ryan Garcia. And um, because of the politics, because of the disdain Devin Haney has, everything is going on. Devin Haney files a complaint and Devin Haney gets blamed as if he's the one that created a criminal act. It's amazing. Absolutely amazing. So this is trending in that direction. Ryan Garcia officially making himself a welterweight now. That was part of the reason that he stated he couldn't make weight with for Devin Haney's because he couldn't get under 143 pounds in the last three years. He's never fought at 140. He sacrificed for the Tank Davis fight, but that was it. And he stayed true to that because when he fought Asu Duarte, Javier Fortuna, and those guys, he was 143. So let's see how it unfolds and plays out. But uh, that's all I got for y'all, man. I think Jerron, Jerron boots in this absolutely dominates Ryan Garcia. Completely different animal than even Tank and, and Devin Haney. Completely different animal. Size, f skills, athletic ability. Completely different animal. It's weight classes for a reason, as they say. So let's see how this unfolds and plays out, though. But that's all I got for y'all, man. Make sure you hit the like button. Drop a comment in the comment section. Let me know what y'all think. Y'all already know what it is. It's your boy, Blue. Blue Blood Sports TV. Hate, like, comment, and subscribe. You haven't subscribed. Hit the subscribe button. Hit the like button. Hit the bell icon and get all the new notifications. Follow me on Instagram at Blue Blood Sports TV. All one word. That's all I got for y'all. I'm gone. Peace.